This is how I've had to charge the mouse for like the past three years and it doesn't get any better or, or less awful. Like you can't use it when it's being charged. That just doesn't make sense. Why did Apple design this product and why do I still use it? I don't know. What's going on guys? This is Sam. Today I wanna to talk a little bit more about the iPhone SE 2. Take a look at some other renders and leaks that we've been seeing. I went from like moderately excited about this device to exceptionally excited. It's not going to be a moderate redesign anymore. It appears based on new leaked CADs and other schematics, the iPhone SE 2 will be a radical redesign just like the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 10 was a radical redesign. First up on mobilefun.com, I'll leave links to everything that I talk about as always down below. Alexar published some new iPhone SE 2 images and they actually show the back now and I have to say the space gray glass on this four inch phone with the notch at the top, face ID, it looks really, really great. You can see they're advertising their like silicon gel cases uh, in like white or greenish or purple. Uh, the clear looks the best just to actually see what the rear of the phone looks like. And I think it looks really incredible. It looks to be just like the similar body size of the original iPhone SE, but this time it has a glass back probably to enable wireless charging. That's something that we've heard time and time again, but that we really don't know for sure yet. And that's a story we keep running into with the iPhone SE 2, but also just other leaks and rumors in general. And until Apple gets on stage and talks about it, no one's probably going to unanimously agree on all the features. For example, another big controversy now with the iPhone SE 2 is whether or not it's gonna have a headphone jack. Some leaked images and videos show a device with a headphone jack. Other leaked images and videos, especially these schematics, do not appear to feature a headphone jack on the iPhone SE, although the size, the width, the depth, and the height will remain largely unchanged. So this could be another Apple product that does end up losing the headphone jack. Something else that I forgot to point out in yesterday's video when I talked about the first Alexer render where you can see the screen screen protector laying on top of it is the fact that the notch appears to be so small on here. And basically up until a few days ago, there had been like one or two people saying that yes, this would be a radical redesign, but no one actually thought that was gonna be the case. Uh, now we also have some other renders from Tiger Mobiles coming courtesy of On Leaks, who goes by Steve H on Twitter. He was actually one of the first people who has a pretty good track record in general, but one of the first that told us that a red or product red iPhone 8 could be coming. He says on Twitter about these new leaks for the iPhone SE 2, I'm still unable to confirm this, but because of the increase of leaks and rumors surrounding the possible upcoming iPhone SE 2, AKA iPhone SE 2018, here are a few more factory CAD shots, full 360 degree video, plus HD renders over available available over at Tiger Mobiles. And there are some very interesting renders here. One of the biggest differences right now between what Alexer is predicting and what Steve H or Tiger Mobiles are showcasing is the back. While Alexer shows a glass back, uh, Steve H and Tiger Mobile shows a metal back on the iPhone SE. And I think glass just makes everything feel so much more premium and plus wireless charging is a big feature that a lot of people are really into. There are a lot of cool shots here. You can notice on these just like in the other renders, there is a notch. You have to look really closely because there is nothing on the screen. It's literally like just the CAD file rendered to look like an iPhone SE. But if you look just closely enough, there is the notch once again here, which also I uh, wasn't anticipating until we saw the Alexer leak yesterday. Uh, and now we're seeing these renders. I'm starting to believe more and more that the iPhone SE 2 is gonna look a lot different than the iPhone SE 1. And I think that's a huge win for consumers. You're gonna be getting an entirely new phone possibly with Face ID, possibly without a home button, rather than a minorly upgraded model, it's still gonna be three or $400 with like similar features to the original iPhone SE. The new one is gonna be a big upgrade apparently. Whether it's glass or metal on the back, I think if the iPhone SE 2 or the 2018 iPhone SE has a notch at all, it's gonna be incredible. Obviously making the jump from Touch ID to Face ID is a big deal for a lot of people, but I have it on the iPhone 10 and I really like it here. Putting this on a four inch device would be interesting because right now it's viewed is such a premium feature, but I'd love to see it nonetheless. And I think in general, people are really happy with the state of Face ID. And plus getting a bezel-less design on such a small phone would have to look amazing. I was actually in the middle of editing this video when I forgot to add one very important part, the fact that Evie Leaks, who has one of the most insane track records, maybe the most insane track record of all time in the Leaks game, confirmed the fact that the iPhone SE 2 is a project. Uh, he just sent out this picture on Twitter, no comment, just project name. 
iPhone SE 2018 and does have some probably pretty important details or like an identifier that would get the leaker found out uh, blurred here. So he confirmed that the iPhone SE 2018 is coming and I, I have no doubt in my mind now that this phone is coming to market very shortly. There is just so much smoke for there not to be a fire and uh, it just makes me more and more excited about this phone. I don't know what else to say. As always, I gotta hear your thoughts on the iPhone SE 2 also being called the iPhone SE 2018. I think it could be an incredible device. It looks great. I'm definitely more excited now than I was in the past. And I've noticed that the comment section has seemed to get a bit more lively after we saw the renders from Alexar yesterday. Once again, links to everything are down below. I just can't wait to get my hands on this device. I think it'll probably be announced at WWDC, but there were some rumors indicating that it would launch ahead of WWDC, but that would definitely be a strange move with such a big keynote WWDC on June 4th, right around the corner. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Of course, if more information comes out, more leaks and rumors happen, I'll be sure to cover it here on the channel. So make sure you hit subscribe in case you haven't already. And if you enjoyed watching, as always, it does help me out if you drop a like down below as well. If you wanna help support the channel, head over to shop.iupdateos.com. You can buy a shirt there. Make sure to use code MAY for 5% off your order this entire month. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.